I've just had to contain myself for just like 10 minutes to stop myself crying. Ah. Because that was such a, an amazing performance. And I'm not just saying that because you're standing right in front of me, or sitting right in front of me. But it's, how, how do you keep that up? Um. Because I'm an actor. You're, you, you obviously, you, you, this is my job. I know, but it's you know, there's a lot of actors that wouldn't be able to do that. Let's face it. Oh, I don't know. Really? Do you think? I mean, you've got. I, I, I've heard that you've got an autistic brother. Have you taken anything from that at all? A little bit, but mainly um, the people that he's been around in his various educational facilities and daycare centres and stuff. So not specifically him. He's on a very different part of the spectrum to Raymond. Yeah. Um, but I have drawn on people he's been around and I've experienced in my life with him. Yeah. 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 And um, I mean, obviously the film's 30 years old, isn't mm -hmm. it? Um, but do you think attitudes have changed much since then? Uh, I think they have uh, changed since then. Um, not as, as significantly as one would like, mm. but um, we are dealing with attitudes towards autism in 1988. Um, so we haven't had to worry about that too much because we are dealing with a period, it's a period play, you know, it's yeah. 1988 and that we are dealing with those attitudes and um, both sociological and uh, psychological, medical, whatever, in 1988. So we've, we've focused on that. Yeah, what I like about it is that it's very true to the film. So people that have seen the film will kind of know what to expect. Yep. I've seen the film, I know what to expect. I still didn't expect to feel the emotions that I felt okay. um, watching it. But I think for a, new, a brand new audience, what, it, it, it'll bring a lot to them as well, won't it? Well, I, I hope it, it stands alone as a, as a really good play on its own, you know, aside yeah. of the film. And I think, I'd like to think that obviously it's with such a successful film, it's very difficult to expect people not to have seen it. Um, and I think, I'd like to think that people have seen it. We meet their expectations, but mm. also exceed them as well, because of the, it's a different medium, you know, it's, yeah. it's live, it's intimate, it's, it's the core of the story is right in front of you, you know? Yeah. Um, and I think our director, Jonathan O'Boyle, has done a really great job of doing a play with very succinct storytelling and mm. me doing a bit of rocking. Yeah, it's engrossing though. No, I mean, it's 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 it's, it's, it's wonderful. Um, you really liked it, didn't you? I really did. I really did. Do you know what? I can't remember the last time that I saw something that I felt like the tears are rolling down my cheeks, and I'm just thinking, you this look is a bit brilliant. emotional now. Yeah, my eyes. Actually, I'm glad we're not filming it <laughs> because my eyes are really red. Um, and I was just like, I, I was saying to a couple of the, um, the other actors just a minute ago that, you know, like, I really hate having to be forced to stand up to give an ovation at the end, you know, because a lot of people, that it's like, especially in musicals as well. It's kind well, of musicals, like, you just it's, do, it's don't you? It's a different you? thing, yeah. but I, I refuse to do it. But this one, I'm like, this is it. I am definitely getting up and, and giving this, these guys a standing erasure. We've had a few, and so that's very good. kind of you. Yeah, so anyway, we can't wait to see you in South End. I'll be, yeah. You'll come into the palace. Have you been to the palace theatre before? I think I did Catherine Tate show live there. Oh, it might be in the Cliffs Pavilion. Oh, it was Cliffs Pavilion yeah. I did, yeah. So, no, I yeah. haven't been to Palace, no. Oh, OK. You're, we're we're going to come and see you and hopefully have a bit of a longer chat with you and Ed. Yeah, yeah, while, no problem. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, so um, I, I know you've got to get off, so I won't keep you any longer. But thank you so much. I really appreciate it. No, no problem at all. Thank this is your first um, stage. First professional play, yeah. Yeah, you've been getting most brilliant audience reactions. I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, it's been it's been bizarre because it being the first time, it, yeah, it's been it's been quite uh, more than humbling. I don't know what it's been. It's been it's, yeah, it's it's been quite emphatic the reaction, and you know we're only in our first week. Well, we've done it. Well, we did previews, and it's, yeah. it's people have been really yeah. responding so what, well. What was it like for you having like the first time in front of an audience? Then having never done that before, did you? Were you feeling the nerves? I mean, beforehand, yeah, definitely. I was definitely, I was definitely a bit, a bit shaky. But yeah. uh, it's, it's a weird thing, adrenaline, because it can carry mm. you through. And it, if, as long as you don't allow your brain to stop thinking, stop breathing, basically, then you, you'll be fine. And, yeah. I, and actually, adrenaline can really, it can really push things forward, and you can play off it quite well. Well, yeah. try to.
Yeah, um, of course. So I, I, yeah, I mean the nerves. Are, I mean the nerves are there every night, every day. So mm, uh, right. it doesn't go away. But you get to have more fun with it, and the, the more if people respond well, then you get to you get to play more, which is good. Yeah, and had you and Matt worked together before? No, met? never. No, no, we met a couple of times. We we sort of met up and had lunch a couple of times, and um, we we just got on very well very quickly. It's quite important, really, isn't it, in a role like? Yeah, I think so. Playing? Yeah, I mean it's funny because the characters are sort of at a disconnect whilst then sort of ultimately yeah. being quite connected mm. um, and I think that trying to work that out was quite interesting but I think in order mm. to do that we had to be we had to work in a very intense way and we did you know we've, we sort of we were doing all hours staying very late at night in rehearsals mm, the other guys were telling me yeah yeah, I mean, we, yeah we, we, we worked hard and I but I, I like working hard I think that's what mm. we're here to do isn't it? So and, and the thing yeah. is that that um, if you're well prepared then you know you, you know you've, you've got it nailed really you can build on it can't you well, no, if you've got it yeah. <laughs> I mean, well it seems like it I mean you, you, you I, I think as I said you, you can you can enjoy it and actually whether people like it or not, I mean obviously you won't be able to res respond well, but if you've done the work and you've put the time in and you feel comfortable with it, whatever their response is, you can't control that, but mm. you can control how, how well prepared you are. Mm. And if you're well prepared, then you, then you will enjoy yourself, I think. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Yeah. Um, really though, the, I mean there's a lot of attention on Matt, but really the story is about your journey, isn't it? Your character's journey. Yeah, I mean I he goes on the sort of the biggest sort of, character evolution as it were I yeah. suppose and I think that's that's one of the main sort of drawing cards for me in the first place yeah. was to come in and play someone who, who goes on this massive journey and has to discover himself and you know he's I, I mean I've always seen him as a deeply unhappy person I mean that that the beginning you know when he's constantly shouting at people full of rage and kind of aggressive with everyone very volatile mm. that all just comes from mm, from his background yeah exactly yeah. and actually yeah. just a deep unhappiness deep rooted unhappiness yeah because one of the things I've tried to get my head around is I mean you hear about people leaving home as a teenager and that's that's not an easy thing to do for anybody but if yeah. you come from not that it's about money but if you come from an affluent background where you know that probably your old man whether you don't get on with him or not will Potentially mm. will pay for you to go to college mm. and do all these things. You, it's quite a big leap mm. at 16 when you come from that sort of world to go. I don't want this anymore. Yeah. Um, so I thought I was quite. I was curious by that, and, and yeah, he's he's been. He's he is great fun to play. Yeah. Well, you've left me a, an emotional wreck. I was just saying to Matt, I've had to pull myself together for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> it was um, such a good performance, but you're used to performing with some real stars like in Downton Abbey. You're obviously Dame Maggie Smith yeah, yeah. and Penelope Wilton. What did you learn from them while you were I've been, I've been very lucky. I mean, the, the, likes of, the good thing about that playing that role in Downton is that um, I was able to be in both upstairs and downstairs. A lot of the upstairs, I was sort of stood there not doing a great deal, but I had to be sort of on high alert and, mm. and listening. Mm. And, yeah, I mean, just being, as you say, you know, naming those sorts of people in the same room as them, and you know, all you've got to do is watch, yeah. watch intently, and you'll learn. I yeah. mean, you know, it's, it's. I didn't go to drama school, and I, I, I feel that down there be, it was necessary drama school. I don't know, but I learned, yeah, I learned a lot from being around those sorts of actors. Definitely. Yeah. Why did you want to be an actor if you didn't go to drama school? Did you? Just... I got a lucky break. I mean, I wanted to be an actor since I was way before when oh, I was okay. just about seven eight yeah like really really young yeah cool. um and I, I, I my route ideally would have been to go down to drama school but i, I got a lucky break at 17 and was taking out of school to do a film and then, right yeah and then i sort of it just went from there yeah i always wish i'd gone to drama school mm, i don't know i don't think you need to no, I, don't know. I think you've got it all. anyway you're coming to see us in south end yes so um, we're going to come and have a chat with you. Perfect. Have a chat with nice you. Nice to go back to my, my dad used to live in Essex for a long time. Oh really? So, yeah. Okay. Excellent. Oh, it's good to come back. Yeah, lovely. Okay, we'll see you then. Yeah, Thanks awesome. for Thanks very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs>